morning and welcome to our Thanksgiving prayer service. Each year at this time, we give God thanks for all the blessings we have received throughout the year. Even though we cannot celebrate traditionally by having our annual Thanksgiving Mass, we still have reason to celebrate, give thanks, and cultivate our hearts and souls with gratitude. Let us take this time to thank God for the safe reopening of our school. Thank you, Lord, for our school community and for all the staff that work tirelessly to make sure that students are supported throughout their educational journey. We thank you for blessing us with our family, friends, and a community that will always comfort us during times of need. May you, your family, friends, and neighbors have eyes to see and hands that are open for the many blessings that God gives us every day. Today we give thanks for the many wonderful blessings in our lives. We give thanks for our family members, food, clothing, and shelter. We give thanks for our friends, neighbors, church, and community leaders. We give thanks for our St. Joseph School community, for teachers, support staff, administration, and classmates. Although we can't all gather together in our gym today, we celebrate and give thanks to God together in spirit. Let us begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, as we celebrate Thanksgiving Day, Help us to pause and thank you for the blessings that surround us. For another day, for family, friends, for food on the table. You are the source of all good things, and we praise you for all the things that bring us joy. Help us keep our eyes on you this day and every day, so our lives may be filled with praise and joy. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, God loves you and has chosen you as his own special people. So be gentle, kind, humble, meek, and patient. Let the peace that comes from Christ control your thoughts and be grateful. Let the message about Christ completely fill your lives while you use all your wisdom to teach and instruct each other. With thankful hearts, Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. Whatever you say or do should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus as you give thanks to God the Father because of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will praise the Lord with all my heart. I will praise the Lord. Let all who are helpless listen and be glad. Response, I will bless the Lord at all times. Honor the Lord with me, celebrate his great name. I ask the Lord for help and he saved me from all my fears. Response, I will bless the Lord at all times. Discover for yourself that the Lord is kind. Come to him for protection and he will be glad. Honor the Lord. You are his special people. No one who honors the Lord will ever be in need. Response, I will bless the Lord at all times. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks, receives. And everyone who searches finds, and for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, lasers, happy Thanksgiving. And here we are, once again, or still, facing the challenges of a pandemic. But maybe this time, we're heading towards the tail end of it, hopefully. Thanksgiving is always a great opportunity for us to stop and take a moment to reflect. Certainly over these last 18 months or so, we've had lots of opportunity to reflect, lots of opportunity to think about what is absolutely essential in our lives be grateful for those blessings and we could list the, the, the whole line you know certainly we're we're grateful for those who have cared for us 
We're grateful for those who have gone the extra mile, all of our essential workers, all of those who work in retail, in, in uh, restaurants and, and coffee places. Many of you have, have jobs in, in those uh, places where you've been able to serve people, even in the midst of very trying and, and difficult circumstances. Our first reading talked about being thankful. With all of the gifts that we have, St. Paul talks about being kind and humble, being patient, bearing with one another, helping each other, and, and being always surrounded by love. And that really needs to be our way of living as disciples. We are to live in love. And our love flows from just being grateful. It's an awareness of what we have been given. God is tremendously um, generous with his blessings. And I know as we gather this Thanksgiving with family and friends, you know, we have the regular stuff we're grateful for. Certainly grateful for our families, grateful for our friends, grateful for our teachers, grateful for um, all of the people that we meet, that encounter, that help us along the way or, or do good things for us. You know, Thanksgiving gives us that opportunity just to stop and recognize, what am I grateful for? And it changes, of course, right? I mean, there's always the constants, but then maybe new things come into our lives that we are grateful for. And I was thinking about that, you know, 18 months into this pandemic, what am I grateful for? What do, what do I give thanks to God for? Well, certainly, I'm thankful for all the people that, that I've worked with and, and I minister with hospitals and the nursing homes where you know um, reaching out to people who are in need and, and trying to help them as best I can I'm grateful for those moments where I can bring Jesus to them and help them in, in their difficult moments but I'm also grateful for the many who are working to to make things better for us you know and, and today I just want to mention three simple things which maybe we've all started to take for granted but in reality, um, we should be very thankful for. Number one, a simple mask. Look what that has done for us. In many ways, yeah, restricted our freedom. Our, you know, we got to wear these masks all the time, and it keeps us from truly expressing who we are. Not really. We can still express ourselves. We use our eyes. We use our, our hands, our gestures. But I'm thankful that a simple thing as this has kept away germs and, and viruses and, and enables us to stay healthy. Our trusty sanitizer, where would we be without it? We've all learned that, yeah, the, the, this whole pandemic has been a lesson in biology, how germs travel from one person to another. And so a little bit of sanitizer helps us, keeps me safe, keeps the people safe around us. I'm grateful for the vaccine. Glad to have gotten the shot to keep me safe, to keep my elderly parents safe. I, I don't want anything to happen to them. I don't want anything to happen to any of you. I don't want anything to happen to my family and the people in the parishes that, that I take care of. So I'm grateful for science, that people were able to come up with a vaccine that has proven to to work and keep us healthy, to keep us safe. So that's what I'm thankful for as we gather for Thanksgiving. I'm grateful for the ways in which we as a human family have been able to adjust and to adapt and yet keep moving forward in hope, in trust, in confidence. We know that Jesus is with us. He guides us along the way. And I'm grateful that all of you have found ways to adapt. These couple of years have, have been extremely challenging for all of you in the educational system, the staff, all of the support workers, all of you students. But you've adapted. You've rolled with the punches, you know, and that's a great thing to be grateful for. Our ability as human people to constantly be adapting to a changing environment and not to give up hope but just to keep moving forward. 
So let's be grateful. That's how Paul ends his, his, first, his first reading today. Whatever you do, be grateful. So as you celebrate with family and friends this weekend, Thanksgiving, we have an opportunity to be grateful for each other, be grateful for this prayer service that Mrs. Walls and all of our participants have provided for us. We're grateful for just God's blessings to us and his assurance that he is with us every step of the way. So, happy Thanksgiving, Lasers. God bless all of you and hope to see you soon. to breathe when all you know is the struggle of staying above the rising water line but the sky is finally open the rain and wind stop blowing but you're stuck out in the same old storm again you hold tight to your umbrella but darling i'm just trying to tell you that there's always been a rainbow hanging over your head if you could see what i see you'd be blinded by the colors yellow red orange and green and at least a million others tie up the boat take off your coat and take a look around for the sky is finally open the rain and wind stop blowing but you're stuck out in that same old storm again tight to your umbrella and darling i'm just trying to tell you that there's always been a rainbow hanging over your Take a look around, everything is all right now, cause the sky is finally open, the rain and wind stop blowing, but you're stuck out in that same old storm again, just let go of your umbrella, cause darling I just trying to tell you that there's always been a rainbow hanging over your head. Yes, there's always been a rainbow hanging over your head. Mm -hmm. It'll all
Let us bring our hopes and needs to God. As we pray, our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our church leaders, for Pope Francis, our bishops, Father Rob, Father Jim, and all of our priests, all of our church staff and volunteers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all leaders, locally, provincially, nationally, and internationally, and for our medical officers of health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our parents for loving and caring. So who serves the love and, and support? We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Nous prions action de grâce pour notre communauté scolaire, pour les nombreuses bénédictions et cadeaux que nous avons reçus. Nous prions le Seigneur. We pray for our school community, for all our students, our administration, teachers, and support staff. May the school year be blessed with opportunities, happiness, and good health for all of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the poor of the world who need food, shelter, clothing, and education. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and those that take care of them. May they be given the strength they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, especially our family members and friends who we remember at this time. May God grant them eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the Lord hears all the intentions we just mentioned and the ones we hold silent in our hearts. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer in French. Notre Père, qui es au ciel, que ton nom soit sanctifié. Que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de ce jour, et pardonne-nous nos offenses comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Et ne nous soumets pas à la tentation, mais délivre-nous du mal. Amen. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. Amen. Gracious God, we give thanks for the abundant blessings you bestow. Remind us to stop and thank you each day for what we have. May we never take these gifts for granted. Fill us with kindness, compassion, forgiveness, mercy, and grace, and help us to be generous with the gifts we share with others. Amen. Holy Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Thanksgiving is a time of gratitude. It is the time for us to appreciate the good things in our lives. Let us take this moment to recognize the people who make our everyday learning at St. Joe's possible. To our school administration, teachers, educational assistants, secretaries, and custodians. Thank you for working tirelessly in creating a safe and caring environment for us to learn and grow in. We are very lucky to have you and hope you know we are extremely grateful. On behalf of Student Council, I would like to wish the entire school community and their families a very blessed Thanksgiving. 